Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, this is your reading for the month of June and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Virgo, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Virgo, there is an extended reading. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended reading, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, Virgo, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, or you will be dealing with right and apart from that i'm also i'll also pull out one oracle card and this is a new deck this deck is about self-care oracle cards okay so the, what kind of self-care is advised to you guys virgos let's check that out at the fag end so make sure you watch the video till the end okay right i would appreciate if you would hit like share and subscribe and comment on below let's get started now so for you we have two of cups then we have death and rebirth and we have star card nice as far as your person is concerned Virgo as far as your person is concerned you may be dealing with a Scorpio you may be dealing with an Aries Aquarius Hmm. We have world for your person. Then we have three of pentacles. And we have the devil. Nice. You may be dealing with Sagittarius, Capricorn. What kind of self-care is advised to you guys, Virgo? Too many cards. What is going on? I just want one card spirit. What kind of self-care is advised to Virgos? Spirit, please give me one card. What kind of self-care is advised to Virgos? What kind of self-care is advised to Virgos? And we have amazing make a meal. Okay, I'm going to describe this card using this booklet. Okay, this booklet explain, explains all these cards wonderfully okay right so let me show you your cards we have two of cups we have death and rebirth and we have star okay this is your spread okay virgo right i see with the death and rebirth card next to two of cups uh for you virgo one love story is ending and a new love story is beginning is is what i'm getting okay uh either there was a conscious end to an earlier love story okay if not conscious uh, there was a lot of divine intervention uh, there was a forceful end. There was a lot of pain in that situation. You thought that that person is, is the true love of your life. Okay. Or at least that is what they portrayed to you. They, they portrayed a big picture in front of you. And that picture included all of your dreams and visions about love and relationships and romance and family and marriage and everything. Okay. And they portrayed exactly the same picture in front of you. But they did not fulfill whatever they promised. Or uh, they did not fulfill whatever they were trying to show to you. At the end of the day, things did not work out. And you guys went separate ways. Okay. What I'm What I'm getting now is that you're about to meet someone very soon okay the painful cycle has come to an end and love is about to happen all over again in your life for some of you for some of you uh i feel virgo that the past person may come back okay there is a possibility that the past person may come back 
okay and you may uh, give this person another chance uh i also see someone is is going to beg you to be a part of their life okay can you see this this person begging this one sitting on the horse it's like i am strongly getting attracted to that person who is begging like so someone is going to beg you to be a part of their life this can be a new person this can be an old person in some cases i feel that you're going to meet the new person through work or at work okay for some of you work is going to be a catalyst when it comes to your love life uh for some of you virgo the person uh, your previous partner okay the recent past person they were a twin flame of yours okay and it really took a lot from you to forget this person to overcome heartbreak with this person uh, to overcome the breakup with this person you also felt like you lost a part of you along with that relationship something was lost from you along with that relationship some of you felt like your innocence was burned down to ashes because of whatever you experienced uh in the relationship in the past okay your innocence your uh something something was burnt down along with the relationship that's what you are feeling not the case that you won't be able to find happiness all over again or not the case that you won't experience your innocent side all over again but you have become a much more stronger personality than who you were okay you have become a you have became a somewhat a no nonsense person okay you easily get bored <laughs> you do get bored pretty fast with people if they don't uh i mean if they are not in alignment with you you do find yourself becoming bored in Uh, in the company of such kind of people okay so even even in you may be uh, you may have noticed virgo that uh the group of friends that you were hanging out with you feel like i don't want to hang out with these people anymore i i am changing and i don't find that i will be able to gel with these people or I will be able to find that true happiness and uninhibited laughter with these people again. Okay, you are on the journey to find your soulmates. And soulmate soulmates you are on the journey to find your soul tribe. Look, soulmate is is yes, they can be in the form of a romantic partner, but in some cases that they, they can also be in the form of friends. They can also be in the form of mentors they can also be in the form of uh people who you consider as your family okay so you you want to find people who can gel with you you want to find people who will be just like you okay you you want to experience that soul to soul connect and that's what i see your soul is trying to find someone right now okay your soul is trying to search someone okay you're putting an end to a lot of relationships you are finding yourself becoming bored with a lot of people around you and if if that is the case then your soul is definitely searching your soul tribe virgo okay that is definitely a symptom that your soul tribe is so uh, you are searching your soul tribe you are searching your soul is searching your soulmates 
okay and somehow i feel that you are going to meet more and more of your soul tribe as you start to rise up in your life okay as you progress ahead in your in your career in your professional life as you start walking down the path of success you are going to meet more and more quality people you're going to meet more and more soul tribes okay and you're going to be very happy for some of you during this quest to find your soul tribe that is when you're going to meet your next romantic partner and i don't see that as far away okay because like i told you uh, at the start itself one love story is ending and another love story is beginning okay so this person this new person is a part of your soul tribe they are your soulmate so meeting your soulmate and meeting your soul tribe is not far away is what i feel okay as far as your person is concerned virgo we have world we have three of pentacles we have the devil yes there is you are going to form a long term connection with someone a solid long term connection with someone you are about to build uh, a solid long term connection with someone with the world card maybe this person stays far away from you maybe this person stays uh, in the opposite corner of the world and you stay in another corner of the world so it may be like uh, someone is from usa or the person is from australia or singapore so that's what i see two corners of the world right hmm this person is going to be overly protective about you overly overly protect you about you sometimes you will you won't be able to understand this behavior of theirs but they are they will have the strong need within themselves to protect you okay because their soul will recognize that you are someone very special and not only from perspective of love and romance you are a special person within their entire soul tribe and you it is must for them and it is also must for the other soul tribe members to give you the maximum protection okay because there is something there is your life purpose is taking you somewhere virgo maybe you are about to get relocated somewhere along with this person and then you are going to do something big maybe you will collaborate with this person for work reasons and you are about to do something big in your life we also have star card which also uh, suggest that a lot of name fame and reputation probably is going to come your way okay so there is a big life purpose for you virgo and your soul tribe is going to be aware about it and that's why they will be giving you this massive protection okay they will be a bit obsessive and possessive about you you're going to have kids with this person for sure again i mean this is applicable for people who want to have kids okay and this person will have multiple nas nationalities multiple residencies of course they're going to offer you love and commitment for sure okay i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below uh the link for the extended is in description box and comment section we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person okay now let's talk about what kind of self care is advised to you guys we have make a meal okay so it is number 32 card let me search up number 32 all right <clears throat> the mantra for this card is i am nourished by food infused with love okay mantra is i am nourished by food infused with love so i'll read it out when made with love and intention food has the power to nourish us beyond a physical level exactly that's what i keep on talking always what you put inside you will get projected outside okay if you 
pour lots of love and care while preparing the food that will get reflected in your body okay so when made with love and intention i'll repeat it again when made with love and intention food has the power to nourish us beyond a physical level prepare yourself a beautiful meal that is healthy and delicious perhaps a favorite from childhood or a dish with sensational ingredients brought from a market or a shop offering organic and local produce okay so focus on organic and local produce and you cook yourself okay and how the meal should be healthy and delicious okay and something probably that you used to love as a child okay the second para says remain mindful and present throughout the entire process consciously infusing love and gratitude into the food that you make so while preparing the food make sure that you are infusing love compassion and happiness and gratitude into the food because that is going to go inside you okay through the food eat it with same level of presence and appreciation whether you are hosting a grand feast with loved ones or a week night dinner for one a simple dish or the most complex cuisine take great pride in knowing that your two hands created it okay the bottom line over here is while you're preparing the meal you should be infusing love and gratitude and happiness and unconditional joy into that okay set your intentions how you're going to infuse love and happiness think of some lovely moments okay or say that or you can just simply say that i am pouring lots of love in this food that i'm preparing right now i am pouring in lots of uh, happiness in this food that i'm preparing right now okay before you sit for the food uh, before you sit for the dinner or before you start eating you can just fold your hands and you can say i'm thankful for this food that is being made available to me i'm thankful for everyone who contributed towards this food okay so show gratitude a uh, journal prompt what is a journal prompt there is an activity for every single card okay the journal prompt is uh, that something that you have to write down okay so the question is what is your favorite meal from childhood okay childhood which was your favorite meal as a child okay you have to write it down the next question is how can you recreate this meal for yourself and make it equally meaningful and tasty okay so as of now this favorite dish favorite meal from your childhood how can you cook that how can you recreate that meal for yourself and make it equally meaningful and tasty meaningful how you're going to make that meaningful by putting in lots of love okay so, along with salt pepper and spices you're going to put some love you're going to put some joy happiness and gratitude okay all that stuff so make sure cooking preparing food okay is is an activity for you to as as a self care activity for you this will also help you heal okay if if you are like no i cannot cook anything so just simply prepare a salad okay salad of a salad of cucumber uh, carrots and tomatoes and spinach and whatever cheese you want to add okay prepare a simple salad and while preparing the salad infuse your emotions positive emotions into that okay and then eat that food all right i hope this resonates and i hope this activity is a fun activity for you just go ahead and do that and enjoy this activity because i'm going to do it and i really enjoy cooking okay all right bye bye then see you next time